Welcome back. Well, Nelson Akujimi joins us now. He's a, a rights campaigner, says also a good governance advocate. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. We're looking through all of this because uh, the judges will be arraigned today, as has been widely reported. But then, uh, in the midst of all of this, do you think that we are at least taking the right steps to reading the judiciary of corruption? Uh, definitely, because uh, you will realize that over years, uh, successive uh, head of the judiciary, that is the chief justice, have, you know, at their inauguration have always identified that corruption was a problem behaving the judiciary. And even at the level of the NBA, when you listened or you have read uh, the comments or the inaugural speeches by successive NBA presidents, they have all identified that corruption is a problem bedeviling the judiciary. And, you know, seeing this uh, read on, the, on corruption in the judiciary by the executive, I think we're on the right step because definitely you know that the executive cannot convict. The only thing the executive can do is to arrange you in court based on allegations that have to be proven, and that is what is going to play out. But you know, this has raised several other questions about what exactly happens behind the scenes. They've seen the, at least, response from some of the judges about how politicians and the judges collide or collude to carry out some things and some wonder, shouldn't that also be investigated? Well, I, I agree that uh, the allegations raised, not only by the uh, by these so-called judges, who have behaved, if you permit me the use of that word, who have behaved like common criminals, because you realize that when criminals are paraded by the police, what they tell you is that it is the work of the devil. Uh, well, and, well, no, hold on. And for me, it, it, it's, it's, it's laughable that a judge... Are you taking away the presumption of innocence? No, 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 no. Just hold on. It's laughable that a judge who sworn oaths... And don't forget, before you can become a judge of the Federal High Court, you must have spent 10 years uh, post-by experience. And for you to be a judge of the Supreme Court, you must have 15 years post-by experience. If you, if you read the, 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 the letter by these judges... It's a desecration of the judiciary that somebody approached you to compromise your oath and you know what the law says that you should, you know, you should notify in writing. And you now say, uh, you never gave us the dates. Don't forget, the judgment of the River State, for example, like Justice, uh, one of the justices, uh, Justice Iyan Gokuru said, the judgment took place on 27th of January 2016. While it's alleged complaint to the CJN occurred on the 1st of February 2016. So you want to ask, how come you are reporting an alleged attempt to compromise, to desecrate the temple of justice okay. after it had, you know... So, they, some of the fundamental thing that has been raised in the course of all of this is that the judges didn't appoint themselves. Definitely. So it does appear as though there seems to be some institutional, you know, collaboration with this. Isn't it the politicians that appoint them to go in there? Shouldn't we also look at how are they appointed into office, if we want to really correct this and not paper over cracks? The, 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 there's, I, I, there's nothing wrong in the appointment of the judges, because you know why? When the NJC makes recommendation, the president, who is the head of the executive, takes that recommendation to the National Assembly. And you know the National Assembly is the legislature. So you can see that the process of appointment of judges Takes, goes through the three arms of government. No one single arm of government has the sole responsibility for appointing them. So, for me, the, the appointment of the judges should not be... An, uh, should not be so, but for so, me, Some lawyers there have raised issues, saying, listen, they have complained about some of these judges who are appointed. They yes. say, look, we know them. Yes. We know the ones who can and who can't. Yes. But when we raise questions about all of this, they don't listen to us. They appoint certain persons who, quote-unquote, will do their bidding. Well, the, the, the truth of the matter is that if somebody is alleging that we know them, it is not left for him to prove because you should not be a judge or we must not base appointment on one person's perspective because there's that likelihood that such a person could be biased. It's exactly are, you, are, 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 you say, are you saying the appointment of judges uh, uh, is okay? For me, because it passes through the three arms of government. So for me, it's okay because it doesn't necessarily begin and end with the judiciary. If it's okay. It goes through the, if it it's goes okay. through the executive and, you know, the no, legislature. But, but up, uh, if it's okay, yeah. why are we where we are today? Because, of, because uh, like we always say, sin is the second nature of man. And like we have identified that corruption is, 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 is a menace 
ravaging the judiciary. In addition to that, yeah. the DSS, yeah. these judges as well, yeah. don't they get screened by the DSS? Oh. Don't they have a history of what they can or can't do? A man can become anything the next minute. If they are screened and the DSS finds... And they pass the screening. Yes, they can pass the screening. Don't forget, even in the Bible, Saul repented and became poor. Somebody can be clean today. And tomorrow when he gets into office, he becomes compromised by, either by, you know, uh, by the company he keeps. So the fact that somebody becomes uh, a criminal tomorrow does not mean maybe he doesn't have a clean past. And somebody can even have a dirty past yesterday, and today is, is, is a repented soul. So for consistently, when we'll be talking about reading the judiciary of corruption, they all suddenly changed overnight. Well, the, the, from the, 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 we must recognize this fact. <coughs> These judges that have been alleged do not represent the face of the judiciary. Don't forget, the judiciary has over a, a close to about 50,000. You know, you just reminded us yeah. of what uh, the CJN, different CJNs, have said to the country over the years about judiciary, possible, ju you know, uh, corruption in the judiciary. Definitely. And if you agree with the CJNs, after CJN, uh, when they give their talk, then you should also. Uh, Pause and listen to what Chamberlain is asking. If they go through all the processes, yes, even the National Assembly, but yes. specifically the security agencies, more so the DSS, yes, don't you think that we haven't been thorough about investigating some of these people before they come on board? No, I do agree because they are going through screening by human beings, and when they go through this screening and they assume office, humans, humans yeah, also, yeah, you know, do, they do go the through this screening, outside. and when they go through this screening. We believe they, you know, they, they, they scale the order and they appointed. And if they do otherwise, the laws are there. It's just like the laws they make against stealing. Nobody, if uh, tomorrow I'm, uh, I'm caught for stealing, it's not because the law was targeted against me. It's because I went and committed that act. So what we are saying in essence is that the law is in place. If you have gone through screening and after that screening you now violate the law. So let the law take its course. So okay. in this matter, it is not about whether uh, they were alleged before they became judges. At least you are very uh, uh, conscious of that. The allegation came in the discharge of their functions as judges, no, but, not before they were appointed. No, but if you also listen to lawyers, yes, and they have raised some of these issues, saying, look, yeah. they don't know how some of these pass the test to become judges, because we, they see what goes on. And it, it's not just that they changed overnight. There's a history. Oh, I agreed, nice. but you know, like uh, I want to tell you, uh, let me use this Yoruba word. <laughs> we, we human beings, we don't know what goes on in the mind of the Shouldn't other person. we demand to see some of these reports and facts? No, it, you, you see, in law, it is not based on ESC. In law, they deal with facts. They deal with evidences. It is not, oh, that man is corrupt. No! The, the, the law does not recognize Have that. Have you seen any of the evidence from the DSS? No, even the evidence from the, 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 evidence from the judges. Have you For seen a, any? I've seen one. I've seen one. For a judge of the Federal High Court, for a judge of the Supreme Court, to come out publicly and say, I was compromised in February, and because you are caught for corruption in October, is that you are one, now telling us. Is that the one you saw? That is, that is a fact, because it means if you were not caught for this present uh, corruption allegation that is hanging on your neck, you wouldn't have told us what happened in February, because I know well, February assuming, and October are no, not the same month. You're assuming now. That, that's no, I'm not assuming. It's from their, it's from their uh, statements. Let's get Mark It's from their letters. Mark